Hi students, my name is Prasim Makram and I am a Chartered Accountant. In today's lecture, we will discuss the revaluation. When revaluation increase, how you have to tackle, when revaluation decrease, how you will have to tackle, and if once again revaluation increase came, how to tackle these entries and how to proceed, what should be the working, how the general entries should be made, how the ledgers will proceed, and afterwards, how the disclosure or notes to the financial statements could be made. This is our today's topic. Revolution increase RP hai, decrease RP hai, or the dobara se increase aja ti hai. Ye sari ki sari baate, inshallah, is lecture ke under hongi. Let's proceed. The ICAP made a question to Chata. ICAP has asked this question. Chesha Textile Mills Limited purchased a plant for 500 million on 1st July 2010. The plant has an estimated useful life of 10 years and no residual value. The life was 10 years. Plant was purchased for 500. It uses the regulation model for subsequent measurement of its property plan and equipment. The other model is cost model. And the account for regulation on net replacement value method. There are two methods. One is net, the other one is gross. There are two methods. One is net, the other one is gross. Normally net revaluation, net placement method followed in the industry. The detail of revaluation performed by an independent form of the values are as follows on 1st July 11, 1st July 12 and 1st July 13. First revaluation increase, then revaluation decrease. Then once again it happened, it seems over here that it is regulation decrease, but actually it is once again regulation increase. ICAP's requirement was general entries only, but my requirements are general entries as well as ledger as well as notes to the financial statements. Let's start. This is our base working it has five columns. You may base working regulation ke under escape total five column date, description, asset, revaluation surplus, profit and loss. In this question, asset is plant. You can write over here as, as plant. So let's start. On first July. 2010 on 1st July 10 asset was purchased the cost of the asset was 500 million all amounts are in rupees or dollar Millions. This asset was used. The asset used was. Pura saal, ek saal ke baad, pura mukammal hone ke bhi baad, agle saal ke pehle din, next year first day, the year end. Our year end is thirtieth June. It should be depreciated. For one year, the method is straight line. The method is straight line. When the life is given, the life बताई गई हो और कुछ ना बताया गया हो, इसका मतलब है कि आपका method straight line है. Residual value मिल के साथ. 
So the formula of depreciation is cost minus a residual value divided by useful life. So 500 minus 0 divided by 10. This is the working answer is 50. And your WDV came as 450. Return down value, reducing balance net value, carrying amount. as 450 on 30th June 11 30th June 11 first year completed now the revaluation came on the very first day of next year on the very first day of next year revaluation came but first we will discuss these entries also, the first year entries also. First year journal entries. On 1st July 10, asset or plot increased, so it should be debited cash or bank or payable credit with 500 million on 30th june 11 we have depreciation debit accumulated depreciation credit with 50 so our first year ended. Now our main point in our important point Agya. This lecture me may have to yebi batawa ki yewali and yewali working sahi chalbi rahi hai ya nahi. I have here cost verification of workings also. We will check it out whether our for it. Totally examination approach will be discussed. Now, what you have to do? Now, what do you have to do? You have to take a line here. After that, you have to write the revalued amount here. You have to write the revalued amount here. After one line first July eleven first July eleven over here your journal entry will came over here your journal entry will came but what is the revalued amount revalued amount is five seventy five on first July eleven you have to increase this 450 to 575. So this increase presents 125. We have to increase it with 125. If the asset is increased from existing WDV to an amount which is in more than the existing WDV, existing carry amount, then this increase is called revaluation surplus. Agar aap ki value 450, jo ki carrying amount hai, wo bad kar 575 ho gai hai, to ye jo 125 aya hai, ye revaluation surplus kehlaega. This will be called as a revaluation surplus. Another name is called as a revaluation reserve. This is part of equity. This is part of equity. This revaluation surplus also called revaluation 
the sensor end part of equity the equity ka part hai 125 increased so your 125 of your sensor plus in now how we will proceed how we have to deal this whole transaction this is our transaction let's move forward first of all we'll see how ledgers are being shown on 1st july 11 after these two entries here 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 on on first july 10 asset was purchased plant was purchased asset debit cash or bank credit with 500 million rupees million no the transaction took place during the year on 1st july 10 our broad down was nil on 30th june 11 we had entry depreciation debit accumulated depreciation credit so on 30th june 11 our balance carried down is 50 which comes at 1st july 11 our brought down when we revalued the asset is 50 and our asset account our plant account is on 30th june 11 is 500 so on 1st july 11 when the revaluation took place the revaluation hui to hamara balance 500 tha so what should be the first entry our first entry should be to transfer this accumulated balance to asset account this is called the net replacement i call it as hawaii entry this 50 should be transferred to asset account so accumulated depreciation nature is credit if this has to be transferred we have to debit it and asset nature is debit we have to transfer from accumulated depreciation it should be credited jab hum accumulated depreciation se balance transfer karenge asset account mein to accumulated depreciation debit ho jayegi aur asset credit ho jayega isko karne ka fayda kya hoga what would be benefit we will have of this entry asset debit or plant a plant credit accumulated depreciation debit on 1st july 11 at the time of revaluation over here 1st july 11 accumulated depreciation this entry after passing this entry c 500 minus 5 50 is equal to 450 we have reached at the w dv we have worked out over here this w for we have reached here over here with balance is 450 so at the time of revaluation 1st july 1st July 11. First entry of revaluation should be transfer of accumulated depreciation balance to asset account. 
50. Transfer of accumulated depreciation balance to asset account. We accumulated depreciation account to the balance of the asset account. This is our first entry. What is the benefit of this? Our asset account is now 500-50 minus 50 is equal to 450. We have working under लेकर आए थे कि 30 जून या यकम जनवरी को बैलेंस यकम जुलाई को बैलेंस कितना है 450 पिछले साल का क्लोजिंग इस साल का ओपनिंग सो वी रीच्ड एट 450 नाउ वी हैव टू टेक द एसेट अकाउंट 2575 व्हाट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू पास दिस जनरेटिंग इसकी जनरेटिंग पास करनी है हमें यूनिट ऑफ रिवर्सल Asset should be up with asset should be up with one twenty five. What should be the credit? A revaluation surplus. Or a revaluation reserves. This is being transferred from first go to OCI, then move to balance sheet part of EQD, revaluation surplus. Where this has been written, we should discuss it also right now. Here are some standard paragraphs. Measurement basis, there are two models. One is cost model, the other one is evaluation model. In cost model, either two options are here, cost model, evaluation model. In cost model, asset is being carried at its cost less accumulated depreciation and accumulated impairment losses means our formula should be in the balance sheet is cost minus accumulated depreciation minus accumulated impairment losses what is a revaluation model says after a recognition as an asset item of property plant and equipment whose fair value can be measured liability shall be carried at its revalued amount being its fair value at the date of the revaluation less any subsequent accumulated depreciation and subsequent accumulated impairment losses. So, the revalued amount minus accumulated depreciation minus accumulated impairment losses now the revolution shall be revolution shall be made with sufficient regularity to ensure that carrying amount does not differ materially from which would be determined using fair value at the end of reporting period. This is very important. Standard has not restricted uh, you should uh, revalue your asset at the end of each year. What it said? It said that at the end of year reporting period it should not materially differ this is important thing another thing if property plant equipment is revalued the entire class of property plant and equipment should be revalued entire class means if you have 10 cars you should do all cars revalued if you have 50 plant and machineries you should 
uh, really all 50 plant and machine needs. So pluses are here uh, in the standard land, land and building, machinery, shapes, aircraft, motor vehicle, furniture, fixture, office, equipment, mirror, class. You can read it here. Now come to the point. Para 39. Very important. Belongs to if the carrying amount is increased as a result of evaluation. The increase shall be recognized in other comprehensive income OCI, OCI and accumulated in an equity, sum up in equity, ikatha ka diya jayega equity mein under heading of revaluation surplus, under heading of revaluation surplus. However, Increase shall be recognized in profit and loss to the extent that it is reversed. Uh, this will come afterwards in this question. Let's do our part, our general entry, remaining general entry, asset, debit, a regulation surplus, credit on 1st July. It will first transfer to other companies, so you can then transfer to balance sheet and equity as a regulation surplus. Change my course. Sure. Okay. Let's move forward. Now, here is very important part. Evaluation entries been discussed. Now put these general entries in your account. Asset debit regulation surplus credit. Asset is debited with 125 a revaluation surplus I am using shortcut revaluation surplus r.s on 1st July 11 now asset check it out 500 minus 50 450 plus 125 is equal to 575 Asset debit revaluation surplus credited with 1st July 11. Asset or plant debit revaluation surplus credited. Year end came. Now, here is very important part. At the time of revaluation, At the time of a revalued amount, at the time of revaluation, what you have to do here? Here we revalued. Here the important part is you have to find you have to find here the remaining life. This could be given in the question or it, you have to find it. Remaining life. Our total life was 10 years. 10 year was total life. So formula is total life which is 10 minus life spent. means uh, umar guzar chuka hua hai revalue evaluation ki date par it was purchased on 1st july 10 it was purchased on 1st july 10 and and the revaluation time it has passed it has spent one year ek saal guzar chuka hai isko to aapki remaining life aa gayi nine the remaining life is very important. 
on 30th June 12 on 30th June 12 you have to depreciate your revalued asset आपको अपने revalued asset को depreciate करना है अब formula क्या है what is the formula for depreciation in the straight line method depreciation is equal to a revalued amount or fair value minus a residual value at the time of revaluation divided by the remaining life since our residual value is nil we can take this revalued amount 575 divided by 9 it comes 63.89 you should have your calculators 63.89 another important part over here is you have to depreciate your revaluation surplus also just like your asset this is artificial increase not the actual increase ye ek artificial increase hai actual increase nahi hai isko bhi aapko depreciate karna hai bilkul usi tarah se jaise apne asset ko depreciate karte hain lihaza 125 ko bhi that's why we will divide this 125 by 9 also this comes as 13.89 Sorry, 575 divided by 9 and 125 divided by 9. So our WDV at the end of second year and 30th June 12th comes as 511.11 and triple 1. Point one Over here, I can check, tell you that how you can check that whether your working is going fine or not. यहाँ पर मैं आपको एक चेक बताता हूँ कि आप अपनी वर्किंग को चेक कैसे कर सकते हैं हर स्टेप्स के ऊपर दो स्टेप्स हैं जिस डेट्स के ऊपर आप अपनी वर्किंग को चेक कर सकते हैं number 1 your year end number 2 your revalued amount date let's check it out that your working is fine or not i'll proceed cross verify what is the way out you can check at two times number 1 check at two times number one year end and number two the revaluation date so what is the way out working you have to see what if asset not revalued what would be the WDV if asset not revalued so check it out on 1st July 10th 500 was purchased 500 ka humne liya tha depreciation uski 50 thi ek saal ke baad 50 depreciation honi thi to har saal mein straight line mein ek jaisi depreciation hoti hai 
तो दो सालों में डेप्रीसीशन आपकी होनी थी आपकी 500 वाली अमाउंट थी एसेट की माइनस फिफ्टी माइनस फिफ्टी आपका आगे वैल्यू 400 होनी चाहिए थी अगर रिवेल्यूशन ना होती तो अगर रिवेल्यूशन ना होती तो 400 है तो अब 30 जून 12 पर कितनी मौजूद है पाँच सौ एक ए अब आपने क्या करना है अगला स्टेप स्टेप नंबर वन ये था स्टेप नंबर वन आपका ये था स्टेप नंबर टू आपका होगा टेक द डिफरेंस टेक द डिफरेंस ऑफ दिस रिवेल्यू डब्ल्यू डी वी आफ्टर रिवेल्यूशन डब्ल्यू डी वी आफ्टर रिवेल्यूशन डब्ल्यू डी वी एट ईयर एंड और रिवेल्यूशन देट और रिवेल्यूशन देट डब्ल्यू डी वी और बुक वैल्यू कैन से कैरिंग अमाउंट विच इज फाइव डबल वन माइनस दिस वट एफ फोर हंड्रेड माइनस वट एफ एसेट नॉट इज वैल्यूड माइनस फोर हंड्रेड इट कम्स एज ट्रिपल वन पॉइंट वन वन विच इज द रिवेल्यूशन सरप्लस हेयर इज द चेक विच इज रिवेल्यूशन सरप्लस so you can check you can cross verify we'll check also when we'll proceed hum isko check karte jayenge ki hamari mari working sahi bhi chal rahi hai ya nahi chal rahi hai so my entry rupees entry 30th june these two entries over here we will have these two entries number 1 depreciation debit accumulated depreciation credit depreciation debit accumulated depreciation credit 63 point eight nine sixty three point eight nine on thirtieth June twelve. Now this entry is very important. For this working this entry is very important. How you can check this entry yeah I may up quiz working say entries per nabata hum एसेट नेचर इज डेबिट एसेट की नेचर डेबिट है एसेट नेचर इज डेबिट नोट गुड एसेट नेचर इज डेबिट रिवेल्यूशन सर्कल्स नेचर इज क्रेडिट इक्विटी नेचर इज क्रेडिट एंड वेन प्रॉफिट विल केम आई विल डिस्कस दैट एसेट बढ़ा एसेट इंक्रीज इट शुड बी डेबिट वी हैड डेबिटेड क्रेडिट नेचर इज क्रेडिट वेन क्रेडिट इंक्रीज इट इज ऑल्सो इन पॉजिटिव विल राइट इट पॉजिटिव वेन क्रेडिट यू विल राइट it in brackets we less it then we will opposite to this uh, nature means we have to debit it we have to debit it what should be the credit we will discuss here, here. so the first one is revolution surplus should be debited revolution surplus revolution surplus should be debited with 
13.89 what should be credited over here it is a retained earning what should be credited it is retained earning यहाँ पर मैं बताता चलूँ कि आपको रिवेल्यूशन सरप्लस से बैलेंस आहिस्ता आहिस्ता निकाल कर रिटेन्ड अर्निंग में लेकर जाना होता है क्यों लेकर जाना होता है इसके लिए एक अलहदा से वीडियो बनानी पड़ेगी उर्दू में तो वीडियो ये ऑलरेडी मौजूद है उर्दू या हिंदी में लेकिन इंग्लिश के लिए इसकी रीजनिंग क्या रीज़न है रिटर्न अर्निंग में ट्रांसफ़र करने की वो डिस्कस करनी पड़ेगी मुझे इंग्लिश में इन हिंदी और उर्दू द रीज़न ऑफ ट्रांसफरिंग एरिवेशन सरप्लस पैलेस टू रिटर्न अर्निंग इज ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल ऑन यूट्यूब बट फॉर इंग्लिश पीपल वी डोंट बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड उर्दू और हिंदी दिल है and some video for them also about the reason of transferring of your origin surplus to retained earning in a simple way out. Somehow just remember retained earning, retained earning is accumulated profits. On 30th June we and pass this entry, 30th June 12th. So these two uh, years are uh, completed. Our two years are completed. Let's revise the entries for the two years. First year, asset debit, cash credit, depreciation debit, accumulated depreciation credit, WDB has no entry. At the time of revaluation, first entry is a transfer of accumulated depreciation to asset account. Pali entry, Hawaii entry, which okay, is working in a journey. Uh, वो होगी आई कॉल इट एज वाई एंट्री बट इट कुड बी एनीथिंग दैट एंट्री इज नॉट बीइंग शोन इन दिस वर्किंग ऑल द रेस्ट आर बीइंग शोन इन दिस वर्किंग ऑल एट अदर एंट्रीज आर बीइंग शोन ऑन दिस इन दिस वर्किंग दिस इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस वर्किंग एक्यूमुलेटेड एप्रिसिएशन डेबिट एसेट क्रेडिट नेक्स्ट एसेट डेबिट एसेट डेबिट Regulation surplus credit, then depreciation. The real amount has no entry. Regulation surplus has entry. Uh, depreciation debit, accumulated depreciation credit, and here regulation surplus is going down. So regulation surplus debit and retained earning credit. These two years completed. Next will. Transaction in the ledger. Post ledger. This ledger has no other entry. So 30th June 12 balance carried down is 575. On next year, 1st July 12, broke down balance. Is also five seventy five. Next account, this has balance at this time nil on thirtieth June twelfth entry depreciation debit accumulated depreciation credit sixty three point eight nine sixty three point eight nine is the balance carried down on thirtieth June twelfth. थर्टी जून ट्वेल्थ के ऊपर बैलेंस आ गया तिरसठ शरिया नवासी है रिवेल्यूशन सरप्लस इज अ बैलेंस इन द रिवेल्यूशन सरप्लस दिस हैज टू बी ट्रांसफर्ड टू रिटेन अर्निंग थर्टीन पॉइंट एट नाइन रिवेल्यूशन सरप्लस टैबलेट a retained earning credit on 30th June 12. Retained earning, accumulated profits. What are these? Uh, what is retained earning? Uh, what entries came in it? 
it has bd something it have profit after taxation something it has a dividend payable transactions something and it has one entry of real since surplus debit retail earning credit so on 30th june 12 revolution surplus debit retained earning credit 30.89 i cannot uh, bring the cd over here uh, because of the lots of transaction it cd would be anyway but revolution surplus will have the cd which is also came from our working triple 1.11 and if we we'll see 125 1 is 13.89 triple 1.11 carried down on 30th June 12. So on 1st July 12, brought down balances to 1.11. Moving forward. First July 12, asset value goes to 390. Our asset value is 590. Now our asset value is having book value, having carrying amount, having WDV is 511.11. It has to shift it down, it has to shift it down to 390. So our revalued amount is 390. Our revalued amount is 390. On oh, sorry. Our revalued amount is 390 on on first July. On 1st July 12th, valued amount 1st July 12th is 390. So, how we will proceed? Ab asset ko down karna hai, ab kya karna hai, ab kya karna padega. Now, how will forward asset value has to down from 511 to 390? What is the value? Please calculate. It is 121.11 going down. 120.11 going down. This is called a revaluation loss. When Assets WDV assets carrying more asset book value is more than the its revalued amount. The reduction is called the revaluation loss. जब हमारी WDV हमारी book value हमारी carrying amount ज़्यादा हो revalued amount से और कमी करनी हो कुछ amount में तो इस कमी को revaluation loss बोलते हैं. Revaluation loss on 1st July 12th on 1st July 12th so here what to do वर्किंग में कैसे लेकर चलना है आगे हमें वो देखना होगा उसको देखने के लिए हम चलते हैं पैराग्राफ के ऊपर तो पैराग्राफ है पैराग्राफ सेडस व्हाट शुड वी डू इफ एन एसेट्स कैरिंग अमाउंट इज डिक्रीज 
carrying amount is decreased. As a result of devaluation, the decrease shall be recognized in profit and loss. However, in profit and loss, however, the decrease shall be recognized in other comprehensive income. To the extent of any credit balance, to the extent of any credit balance existing in devaluation surplus, in respect of the that assets. So you have to ask the question yourself. हमें devaluation decrease के वक्त देखना होगा दो चीजें. हमें devaluation decrease के वक्त देखना होगा. Number one, we have to see two things. Either asset has revaluation existing revaluation surplus balance at the time of Revaluation. If answer is yes, we have to hit first the revaluation surplus. अगर इसका आंसर yes हुआ, first eat up the revaluation surplus. पहले ये revaluation decrease खाएगी अपने रिवेल्यूशन सरप्लस के बैलेंस को नंबर टू आफ्टर अगर ऐसे नहीं है जिसमें रिवेल्यूशन बैलेंस तो इफ आंसर इज यस दें दिस इफ आंसर इज नो If answer no, charge to profit and loss, charge to profit and loss account. So this is our rule. So C, whether we have the relation balance at the time of relation, whether we have the balance. At the time of revaluation, yes, we do have triple one point one one. So first, this revaluation decrease will hit revaluation surplus, will eat up revaluation surplus with amount. Can this eat? This is more than this one. So triple one point one one. Now the remaining balance goes to profit and loss. Profit and loss means profit. I treat it as credit balance, so it should be reduced as triple ten. Ten plus triple one equal to one twenty one. This is our working. Now let's check. it out this is a real year amount i have told you to two dates that you can check your balance real year amount steps are what if asset not revalued how much at the at this date how much time passed it was purchased on फर्स्ट जुलाई टेन एक साथ दस पर परचेज हुआ था एक साथ दस पर परचेज हुआ था दिस वॉज परचेज ऑन फर्स्ट जुलाई टेन वन ईयर कम्प्लीटेड फर्स्ट जुलाई इलेवन टू ईयर्स कम्प्लीटेड फर्स्ट जुलाई ट्वेल्व और थर्टी एथ जून ट्वेल्व टू ईयर्स कम्प्लीटेड आफ्टर टू ईयर्स द कैरिंग अमाउंट इफ द एसेट नॉट रीवेल्यूड इज फोर हंड्रेड बट नाउ सी 
what is the value at this time what is the value at this time what is the carrying amount at this time this is 390 so I take it as 390 minus 400 after two years this is as minus 10 which is loss and this loss is represented over here और ये वाला लॉस यहां पर नजर आ रहा है लिहाजा हमारी वर्किंग बिल्कुल ठीक है सो आवर वर्किंग इज 100% करेक्ट सो लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड टू द जनरल एंट्रीज ऑल द जनरल एंट्रीज आर सेम नो चेंज आई कैन इजीली कॉपी एंड पेस्ट दीस एंट्रीज द होल एंट्रीज आर same these entries these are the entries except the amount you can copy here you can copy here copy here and I can paste it these here slow oh do your work please copy and paste So the first entry is uh, accumulated depreciation debit, but the second entry will not be same. The first entry accumulated depreciation asset credit is same on first July twelve, which is transfer year accumulated depreciation balance, which is. First on first July twelve, the balance is sixty three point eight nine. Yes, transfer this balance sixty three point eight nine to asset account sixty point eight nine. On first July twelve, accumulated depreciation debit and asset credit. So our first entry will be Maripali entry Ogi Vaiwali accumulated depreciation debit or asset credit. Our first entry at the time of evaluation would be accumulated depreciation debit and asset credit accumulated depreciation. Accumulated depreciation was here 63.89. The date was 1st July 10. 1st July. 12 
accumulated depreciation debit and asset credit asset credit 63.89 first entry completed 63.89 with 63.89 so first entry is 63.89 what is the next entry next entry and this is not the actual pre-relation entry we have to see what we should do. हमें देखना है कि ये क्या हमें करना है। हमने पढ़ा कि we studied that whether there is any any amount existing in the revaluation surplus if revaluation surplus balance is exists then we should use that first then we will have to take it in the profit and loss agar hamare paas revaluation surplus ka balance pada ho to pehle ye revaluation decrease us revaluation surplus ke balance ko kha jayegi it will eat up this revaluation surplus balance triple one this one was existing so eat up this one then the remaining is will go to profit and loss first of all it will reduce this one accumulated regulation surplus then the remaining balance will be transferred to profit and loss as a loss asset is down now we are doing this entry evaluation entry will pass this evaluation entry and you can see this one now the evaluation decrease asset nature is debit it has reduced so asset should be credited asset should be credited with 1 to 1.11 1 to 1.11 next our base working we have done this entry 1 to 1 now evaluation surplus nature is credited it reduced it means it should be debited the revaluation surplus debit revaluation surplus debit with triple one point and loss regulation loss you can say evaluation loss so the third one the third jagah kisne leni hai hamari revaluation loss ne revaluation loss then
दिस विल गो टू प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस ये प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस में जाएगा रिवेल्यूएशन लॉस कैसे हमारी वर्किंग में शो हो रहा होगा प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस में प्रॉफिट की नेचर क्रेडिट प्रॉफिट्स नेचर इज क्रेडिट इट रेड्यूस इट मींस प्रॉफिट रेड्यूस प्रॉफिट रेड्यूस होता है एक्सपेंस की वजह से प्रॉफिट इज रेड्यूस्ड ड्यू टू एक्सपेंस प्रॉफिट इज रेड्यूस्ड ड्यू टू एक्सपेंस so this is our profit and loss debit it means expense it means loss on 1st july 12 put this entry in the ledger asset debit asset credit 121.11 121.11 what should be right, right here you can write here a revaluation surplus bleak profit and loss no problem over here what you write over here ab yahan par kya likhte hain ye problematic wali baat nahi hai asal entry sahi honi chahiye on 1st july 12 revaluation surplus profit and loss 121.11 and we have a no profit and loss over here we are not making that so our next target is revaluation surplus hamara agla target revaluation surplus hai revaluation surplus mein ye balance pada hua tha ye sare ka sara khatam ho gaya trip I have told you at the time of revaluation. मैंने आपको बताया था रिवेल्यूशन के वक्त आपको इम्पोर्टेंट काम रिमेनिंग लाइफ मालूम करने का करना होता है योर इम्पोर्टेंट वर्क इज रिमेनिंग लाइफ was the formula total life what was our formula total life minus life spent at the time of revaluation total life was 10 years minus 10 full 10 full 11 full 12 hmm? full 11 and full 12 2 years passed so remaining life is 8 years रिमेनिंग लाइफ आठ साल है इस वक्त रिवोल्यूशन के वक्त इस रिमेनिंग लाइफ को यूज करेंगे विल यूज दिस रिमेनिंग लाइफ फॉर द डेप्रीसिएशन वर्किंग डेप्रीसिएशन थ्री नाइन्टी डिवाइडेड बाय एट वट अमाउंट केम्स 48.75, 48.75. Over here, very important part is you have to divide 10, which which is coming in uh, profit and loss. It should also be divided by meaning life. Why? You will see just after some time. comes 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1.25 1
to 5. Over here, important thing is this 10 is in bracket. So, for reducing this 10, we have to write it in positive. यहाँ पे चूँकि negative में दिया गया था, इसलिए इसको कम करने के लिए plus में लिखेंगे. balance in our WD in as 341.25 341.25 and our loss comes at 8.75 on 30th June 13 30th June 13 let's pass our test whether our working is going fine or not on 30th June 13 what if assets not revalued first one first step what if assets not revalued it will be 500 minus 50 minus 50 and minus 53 years past how it was purchased on 1st July 10 1st July 11 1 year 1st July 12 2 years 1st July or 30th June 13 3 years 1 year's depreciation original depreciation was 50 original depreciation was 50 original depreciation was 50 So, minus 50 is equal to 350. Now, take the difference of WDB at year and end this value 350 uh, present WDV is coming 341.25 341.25 so this is 350 so our role was set 341.25 minus 350 is equal to 8.75 loss minus and over here we have loss 8.75 so it is proved that our working is going very fine so lihaza yahan se pata chala ke hamari working bilkul theek chal rahi hai bahut fine chal rahi hai bilkul theek chal rahi hai now what is important over here this this 1.25 no general entry past the reason actually it has general entry of a retained earning debit, returned earning credit with 1.25, 1.25. So passing this entry is not useful. So we will not pass this generality. The appreciation generality will be passed.
depreciation damage accumulate depreciation credit 48.75 now we had made last year this entry but now we will not pass this entry it will not be passed revaluation surplus debit retained any credit reason we do not have any revaluation surplus balance exists so this was the year end 30th june 2013 ye mara teesra saal mukammal ho gaya depreciation ki entry ko hum ledgers ke andar post karte hain asset ka closing balance nikalte hain depreciation debit depreciation entry is at 48.75 48.75 so cd is also 48.75 on 30th june 13 next year first july 13 bd 48.75 asset cd balance on 30th June 13 is the same as we revalued amount which is 390 which is 390 30th June 13 carry down is 390 bd came as 390 on 1st july 13 come to the question on 1st july 13 it was revalued again on 380 okay once again we have a balance in ledger in wdv 341.25 which is 390 in the asset account and the accumulated depreciation on 48.75 now we have to pass we have to reach at 380 which is been asked in the question once again devaluation increase came so one line after 380 so our devalued amount our devalued amount had 380 on 1st july 13 it has increased our value by check it out how much increased 38.75 38.75 it devaluation surplus First July thirteen. So our value came 
where P A P. What should we do? It is a revolution increase from 341 to 380. Yeah, revolution increase. I hear revolution up over revolution surplus. I got 38.75. plus in there. Subse pele ye plus is negative ko kaiga. We could see just a pele revolution surplus ko kaiata. Ab jo cheese available of Pios ko katam karna of the pele. First a worse the existing thing. 8.75 8.75 now the remaining is 30 remaining is 30 so regulation surplus is 30 this is now nil ab revaluation hui hai us waqt ek journal entry hogi ye one Revaluation के वक्त पहली जनरल एंट्री वही एक्यूमुलेटेड डिप्रिसिएशन डेबिट और एसेट क्रेडिट वो तो हम करेंगे ही उसके बाद मेन जनरल एंट्री ये वाली यहां से बनेगी ये वाली इसका यहां पर हमने 1.25 इसलिए किया था कि हमारी ये वाली अमाउंट बिल्कुल सही निकल सके वी हैड डन दिस 1.25 सो दैट आवर दिस 8.75 वुड बी द करेक्ट वन So let's post these two entries. First entry, first in July thirteen. Accumulated depreciation debit asset credit with what 48.75 existing 48.75 was this entry transfer this 48.75 to asset account so that. Our asset comes to the WDB. Our asset account WDB per Ajay. Ek saath tera. What is next? The main journal entry. Asset is debit. Asset increase is debit. Revaluation is also increased, so revaluation should be credit. This is also in positive, so uh, credit uh, uh, gain will be credited. Asset debit here asset debit with thirty eight point seven five with thirty eight point seven five A revaluation surplus should be credited with 30 and a revaluation gain which will go to profit in other income 8.75 this is our revaluation journal entry when again asset was revalued when we have existing loss available with us which we have we which we had charged earlier in one or two years ago jab hamare paas pehle se existing mein loss available ho to tab hum pehle loss ko khatam karte hain 
लॉस को ख़त्म किया लॉस था डेबिट में अब हमने उसको कर दिया क्रेडिट रियोलेशन सरप्लस एग्जिस्ट नहीं करता था करता होता भी तो हमने अब बाकी का अमाउंट थर्टी की वो चार्ज की रियोलेशन सरप्लस को टोटल इंक्रीज एसेट में आई थर्टी एट पॉइंट सेवन फाइव सो आवर एसेट अकाउंट इज इंक्रीज बाय थर्टी एट पॉइंट सेवन फाइव With रियोलेशन surplus with profit and loss on फर्स्ट July थर्टीन वी हैव बोथ एस इन एसेट थर्टी एट पॉइंट सेवन फाइव हमने एसेट में थर्टी एट पॉइंट सेवन फाइव लिख दिया रिवल्यूशन सरप्लस वन सीन रिवल्यूशन सरप्लस इट वॉज एंडेड ऑन थर्टीथ जून थर्टीन सी डी मिल फर्स्ट जुलाई थर्टीन पेन एस प्रो डाउन मेल नाउ इट केम है थर्टी ऑन फर्स्ट जुलाई थर्टीन एसेट डेबिट रिवेलेशन सरप्लस क्रेडिट एसेट डेबिट रिवेलेशन सरप्लस क्रेडिट Asset is thirty-eight point seven five. Revaluation surplus current thirty, and third is profit and loss, which we do not have the ledger. Next, very important word at the time of revaluation, we have three years pass remaining life. We have to find. 10 years minus 3 years passed, so remaining life is 7. We will pass the depreciation entry. 380 divided by 7, 30 divided by 7, and uh, it comes at 54.29 and 4.29. So uh, the remaining balance came three twenty five point seven five three twenty five point seven one and twenty five point seven one W D V on thirtieth June fourteen. हेर यहाँ पर मैं आपको एक और ट्रिक बताता हूँ अनदर ट्रिक सी आवर ओरिजिनल डेप्रीसिएशन इज फिफ्टी आवर ओरिजिनल डेप्रीसिएशन इज फिफ्टी Here, our depreciation is five point four nine. It is more than the existing. How much more? Four point two nine, which is here. Revaluation surplus should be down. On other hand, over here, our depreciation was sixty three point eight nine. Sixty three point eight nine. If how much more? Thirteen point eight nine. This is the more thirteen point eight nine. When we had a loss, we had a depreciation forty eight point seven five. Since it is less than the original depreciation of fifty, how much less it is when it is more? It will come in the valuation surplus. When it is less. It comes in a profit and a loss. One point two five. This is also another trick to check whether your working is correct or wrong. यहाँ पर आपको बताता चलूँ. Position पचास थी. 
पचास में कितनी ज्यादा है यहाँ पर डेप्रीसीशन सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट एट नाइन तेरह इशारिया नवासी तेरह इशारिया नवासी अगर ज्यादा हो तो रिवर्जन सरप्लस में से में नजर आएगी नीचे आ जाए तो यहाँ पर डेप्रीसीशन कम है फोर्टी एट पॉइंट सेवन फाइव कितनी कम है ओरिजिनल से पचास से वन पॉइंट टू फाइव ये जो कम है ये आपको लॉस में नजर आएगी नेक्स्ट अगर देखा जाए तो यहाँ पर हमारी डेप्रीसीशन ज़्यादा है ओरिजिनल 50 से ओरिजिनल 50 से ज़्यादा है 4.29 ज़्यादा है तो सरप्लस में 4.29 नज़र आएगी तो ये क्रॉस वेरिफिकेशन यहाँ से आप बहुत अच्छे तरीके से कर सकते हैं कि आपकी वर्किंग सही चल रही है या नहीं चल रही है नो पास दिस एंट्री एंड क्लोज योर क्वेश्चन देन वील फॉरवर्ड वी फॉरवर्ड टू द नोट टू दी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट फिर हम नोट टू दी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स पर मूव करेंगे डेप्रीसीशन डेबिट एक्यूमुलेटेड डेप्रीसीशन क्रेडिट फिफ्टी फोर पॉइंट डेप्रीसीशन डेबिट फोर पॉइंट फिफ्टी फोर पॉइंट टू नाइन एक्यूमुलेटेड क्रेडिट ऑन थर्टी एथ जून फोरटीन सो आवर क्रेडिट डाउन बैलेंस इज जून फोरटीन and the revolution surplus balance should be transferred to retained earning how much 4.29 4.29 debit and 4.29 4.29 जून चौदह रिटेन अर्निंग क्रेडिट हेयर वी हैड द रिटेन अर्निंग बैलेंस बट एज यू नो ओनली वन एंट्री विल कम थर्टी एथ जून फोरटीन फ्रॉम रियल सरप्लस फोर पॉइंट टू नाइन आई हैव डिस्कस दिस होल दैट नो प्रॉफिट एंड प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स बी डी ट्रांसफर टू डिविडेंट पेबल एंड सी डी कैन नॉट बी वर्क एज दीज बैलेंस नॉट एग्जिस्ट क्योंकि बैलेंसेज एग्जिस्ट नहीं करते हैं इस वजह से ये चीज वर्किंग नहीं की जा सकती है सो दिस इज आवर द होल क्वेश्चन लेट समराइज इट देन विल फॉरवर्ड टू द नोट टू दी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट Let's summarize and uh, see the general entries. How uh, this working is very beneficial. Asset cost, asset debit, cash credit, asset debit, cash credit. Depreciation debit, accumulated depreciation credit. Then a revaluation came. Uh, at the time of revaluation, first entry is accumulated depreciation debit and re accumulated depreciation debit and uh, revaluation uh, asset credit. How you will see this? This is revaluation date and the previous revaluation or cost date. 
in between the depreciation is 50 so 50 accumulated depreciation debit asset credit then uh, asset debit regulation surplus credit asset debit regulation surplus credit then next depreciation debit accumulated depreciation credit 63.89 63.89 then this one revolution surplus debit retained earning credit next once again a revolution came two uh, revolution dates between uh, depreciation is 63.89 accumulated depreciation debit asset credit 63.89 uh, revolution entry uh, asset credit 121.11 Revolution surplus debit one, triple one point double one and a loss debit with ten. This one. Then uh, on thirty June thirteen depreciation debit accumulated depreciation credit no general entity profit and loss uh, reduction is just for working. No general entity is not. Its general entity is only for working. Retain earning debit, retain earning credit. So uh, not possible to pass. Uh, no no reason to pass this entry. This is only for working. I have proved you through this cross verification. Revolution amount then uh, depreciation debit accumulated depreciation credit revolution depreciation debit accumulated depreciation credit over here 4.29 uh, revolution surplus debit retained earning credit 4.29 this one this one so this is the whole general entries these entries are passed posted in the asset account at accumulated depreciation account now learn the note to the financial statement here is the asset account main asset account as you know asset has the balance bd say i am assuming here some amounts 100 some addition took place say 300 some disposals took place say 50 so what should be your CD balance 350 uh, 100 plus 300 minus 50 is equal to 350 if we'll uh, write this account in uh, statement form how this will be written as opening addition disposal opening plus addition less disposal is equal to your closing yes. opening say 100 it was 100 then 300 addition then 50 disposal it came as closing minus 350. This is the note when there is no revaluation. This is the note when there is no revaluation. Just ledger co statement form me likhne ka naam note hai. If you convert this ledger into statement form, this is a note. Nothing so special. Now here we can see we have seen here that revaluation when revaluation came asset usually debited asset usually debited or it could be credited it could be added up or it could be last out due to revaluation due to revaluation so if revaluation increase came revaluation surplus came out here I'm assuming once again uh, say mm, 90 so here comes the revaluation now this balance is not 350 but it is 440 if revaluation increase came it would be 90 and its balance will become 440 on other hand 
if I do not assume I just take another example BD 100 addition say 300 disposal 50 if the revaluation came as here decrease with say 40 then what would be the CD it would be 400 minus uh, 93 10 how this will be placed 10 addition 300 uh, disposal 50 due to revaluation it has uh, reduced with less less 40 so balance came as 3 10 moving forward if we write just like this accumulated depreciation in the statement form and uh, these three things are here usually without revaluation say assuming BD was 20 depreciation for the year was 40 disposal on account of disposal accumulated depreciation transferred as 30 so what would be the carried down balance it would be I, I don't like uh, the same figures let's change these amounts say assuming 60 is your depreciation and 30 is your disposal 60 plus 20 70 this, this claim is 40 so you write it in statement form opening depreciation for the year just one minute depreciation for the year and disposal it has credit nature so 20 opening depreciation over the year 60 on account of disposal 30 as 50 is 50 it is 50 50 now see अब हम देखते हैं कि ये accumulated depreciation में क्या effect आया accumulated depreciation में जब revaluation होती है तो अपनी accumulated depreciation सारी के सारी transfer हो जाती है asset को इसको effect को लेकर आना है यहां पर दो चीजें आएंगी तो ये चीज़ आ accumulated depreciation भी आ जाती है which I have forgotten अब हम note बनाना सीखते हैं now you start the note how to uh, make the note uh, let's assume the ledger asset account uh, simple asset account has uh, BD 100 addition 300 disposal 50 and uh, balance came uh, 100 plus 400 minus 50 is equal to 350 you will write it in a statement form that uh, this will be opening as 100 addition 
plus 300 minus disposal as 50 so it comes as 350 and if we see the accumulated depreciation as say 40 opening depreciation for the year 60 disposal say 10 then it comes to 60 plus 40 minus 10 is equal to 90 so if we see that 40 opening depreciation for the year 60 disposal then closing came as 90 this is simple and this is the note simple note without revaluation asset account this is called gross carrying amount and uh, this is called accumulated depreciation no problem just uh, writing uh, t account into the statement form called as note sirf sirf agar aap t account se utha kar statement form mein likh dete hain to ye aapka note hai on other hand if revaluation came we have seen two three things over here one Accumulated depreciation came transfer from the accumulated depreciation account and revaluation increase or revaluation decrease. Revaluation increase one is accumulated depreciation transferred. The other is revaluation increase or revaluation decrease. So let's see what happened. Just writing this in the statement form, writing the account in the statement form is called the revaluation note. So if I write here accumulated depreciation transfer and revaluation surplus here and in accumulated depreciation i write it asset here so what happened say with due to the revaluation we had balance 60 plus 40 90 and 90 we transfer so our cd is nil 90 transferred to the asset account 90 is written over here and say revolution increase came as 210 so what amounts what cd will become 3 to 5 500 600 and 100 610 over here 140 610 minus 140 is equal to 610 minus 140 is equal to 470 so cd our cd is 470 put it in the note how you will put it in the note When regulation came 100 opening edition 300 now over here disposal is 50 what you have to do here 40 depreciation 60 here you can write or overwrite as minus transfer transfer to fix asset transfer to asset as 9 oh. transfer to asset as 90 this was 10 
so your balance is nil and over here this accumulated depreciation is transferred first we will write transfer this 90 and plus revaluation surplus or just you can write as a revaluation can write as a revaluation. So what is your revaluation increase gain? 210. 210. So your balance will become as 470. Please check. I don't have check it accuracy a lot. 210. Okay. So this is the note. Now we can put this not uh, we can use this T account for the revaluation. Only one year will do say this one second year July 12 to 13. July 12, 13, June 13. We had opening balance as 575. Yeah, we'll as 575. Balance 570. Five addition nothing transfer sixty three point eight nine evaluation increase or decrease evaluation decrease came one twenty one point double one so we'll write here as minus evaluation and uh, triple one point One, one, one twenty one, one twenty one. Sorry, one twenty one point one one. No disposal. Closing balance three ninety. Here. Now then for this one. Now see the accumulated depreciation account has this 63.89 opening sixty-three point eight nine opening mm, transfer sixty-three point eight nine charge depreciation for the year is 48.75 48.75 disposal so closing is 48.75 at the end we used to write the WDV जी आगे बढ़ते हैं और अब हम notes to the financial statements बनाएंगे with the help of our question and our base working will make notes to the financial statement yes this uh, note is property plant and equipment this is also called uh, schedule of fixed assets this is also called schedule of fixed assets this is also called uh, disclosures notes also called disclosures Sorry for the spellings. Disclosures. Now, what we have to write in it, as we discussed earlier, uh, we have to write here 
gross carrying amount what is gross carrying amount gross carrying amount is basically a fixed assets ledger the cost or revalued amount which is on cost right here uh, cost or revalued amount okay uh, opening opening from where we can get the opening uh, here we should see start we should start from the earliest year 2011 on 30th June 2011 asked for your question what is your opening on 30th June 2011 if we have to write opening agar hame opening likhna hai to hame isse pichle saal old year 30th June 10 we have to find the date 30th June 10 we have to ask ourselves whether the asset is revalued hame apne aap se question puchna hai whether the asset is revalued on 30th June 10 if answer no then it is on cost if answer is yes and it is on a revalued amount agar aapka aapko apne aap se question puchna hai ki kya asset pichle saal ki closing par revalued tha is june 10 jaisa ke mein hai pichle saal ki closing pe asset revalued tha agar answer aaya no to phir asset cost par hai agar answer aaya Yes, revalued tha to phir asset revalued amount par hoga. So, we ask the question from the question. We ask this question from the question. Here is our question. On 30th June, here asset was purchased on 1st July 10 on 30th June on 30th June 10 it is nil the asset are being purchased on 1st July 10 not 30th June 10 so our opening is nil our opening is nil Mara opening yaha par nil a gaya so ask yourself whether on 30th June 10 from 30th June 10 to 30th June 11 whether some assets are being purchased you can ask this from your question and this is slow We have purchased on 1st July 10 between 30th June 10 to 30th June 11. We have done one thing. We have purchased 500 million asset. We have purchased 500 million plant. So addition is 500. Addition is 500. From the question, it is clear that um, asset is not revalued, so there is no chance of transfer. Asset is not revaluation, there is no surplus, assets are not disposed. So, your gross carrying amount, your cost is 500. Uh, cost 500. If you know that asset 
का ओपनिंग नील है तो एक्यूमुलेटेड डेप्रीसीशन एक्यूमुलेटेड डेप्रीसीशन दो चीज़ें बस लिखनी होती हैं हमने नोट के अंदर एसर्ट फिक्स एसर्ट की कॉस्ट या उसकी रिवेलेड अमाउंट और एक्यूमुलेटेड डेप्रीसीशन तो एक्यूमुलेट डेप्रीसीशन का ओपनिंग भी जो कि तीस जून दस पर ही है वो क्या होगा वो भी नील होगा दैट विल आल्सो भी नील वी हैवेंट मेड द वर्किंग बट फ्रॉम हेयर दिस वर्किंग वी कैन सी आवर वन ईयर फ्रॉम फर्स्ट जुलाई फ्रॉम थर्टीथ जून टेन फ्रॉम थर्टीथ जून टेन टू थर्टीथ जून इलेवन दिस इज आवर रेलिवेंट ईयर सो ओनली वर वन डेप्रीसीशन इज चार्ज विच इज ऑफ फिफ्टी will write it over here depreciation for the year no transfer we will discuss it later depreciation for the year is 50 depreciation for the year is 50 so our total accumulated depreciation is 50 and our carrying amount our wdv will be 500 will be 500 cost minus accumulated depreciation is equal to is equal to 450 it will be 450 gross carrying amount 450 okay so i should squeeze a bit so that i can write and we can see both things one at the same time mm a bit good ओके मूविंग फॉरवर्ड वी हैव टू राइट हमें आगे लिखना है नेट कैरिंग अमाउंट पिछले साल की आती है uh, यहाँ पर हम एक फार्मूला बना सकते हैं वी कैन राइट हेयर कैरिंग ग्रॉस कैरिंग अमाउंट एज ए एंड एक्यूमुलेट डेप्रीसीशन एज बी सो नेट कैरिंग अमाउंट एज ए माइनस बी On other hand, we have to write the comparative amount, net carrying amount of last year, of previous year closing. So that is previous year's closing is this year opening. पिछले साल का closing इस साल का opening. तो हम क्या करेंगे? हम अपनी ये वाली opening को लेंगे और ये वाली opening को लेंगे. इन दोनों का difference लेंगे तो पिछले साल की value आ जाएगी. so i can write here as x and write here as y so this is x minus y so 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 ye hamara note mukammal ho gaya uh, with respect to amounts note ke andar aur kya kya kuch aata hai we have completed our note with respect to amounts what other things came these are measurement basis whether your asset is on cost or on a revalued whether your asset is on cost or revalued from where uh, these things uh, these notes are uh, have to be made uh, these are the disclosures which are uh, given over here let's discuss the disclosure also a bit so financial statement shall disclose for each class of property plant and equipment measurement basis number 1 measurement basis used for determine the gross carrying amount gross carrying amount is the professional word for cost or revalued amount 
अदर थिंग वी हैव टू राइट इज डेप्रीसीशन मैथड थर्ड थिंग यूज फॉर लाइफ ऑफ डेप्रीसीशन रेट दीज आर द्री थिंग्स आई हैव रिटर्न इन द नोट हेयर वी कैन सी दीज वन इज मेजरमेंट बेसिस नंबर टू डेप्रीसीशन मैथड नंबर थ्री डेप्रीसीशन रेट और यूजफुल लाइफ what are the other things next gross carrying amount and the accumulated depreciation gross carrying amount and the accumulated depreciation aggregated with the accumulated impairment loss at the beginning and at the end of the period beginning and end of the period gross carrying amount we have written beginning and end Where this has been written? Here is beginning and end of the year. A recon. Carrying amount at the beginning and end of the period. We have written as addition, transfers, etc., and etc. What are the what are these addition? We have written as addition. We have just made the addition. हमने अभी अभी addition लिखी है. ये आई एफ रस फाइव is not in the in this scope of uh, this question. Uh, acquisition through business combination आई एफ रस थ्री आई एफ रस टेन that is also not in uh, uh, in this question increase or decrease resulting from a revaluation increase or decrease resulting from a revaluation under para 13 and uh, 31 and 39 okay addition this is all related to gross carrying amount related to gross carrying amount gross carrying amount and we have to write depreciation we have write, written the depreciation uh, net exchange difference not relevant to our topic other uh, our question uh, other changes jo dusri changes ho financial statement shall also disclose we just discuss these kya kya aur kuch ho sakti hain shall also disclose existing uh, existence and amount of restriction on title koi bhi aapke uh, रेस्ट्रिक्शन लगी हुई है प्रॉपर्टी प्लांट है गवर्नमेंट पर आप कोई बेच नहीं सकते आपने प्लज करवाया हुआ है सिक्योरिटी विद द बैंक यू हैव प्लज योर एसेट एज अ सिक्योरिटी विद द बैंक फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग द लोन द अमाउंट ऑफ एक्सपेंडिचर रिकनाइज इन द कैरिंग अमाउंट ऑफ एन आइटम ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी प्लान गवर्नमेंट इन द कॉस ऑफ इट्स कंस्ट्रक्शन सी डब्ल्यू आई पी रिलेटेड discussion hai amount of contractual commitments for the acquisition of property plan and equipment if you have any uh, 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 if you have made any contract actual commitment normally uh, these includes letter of credits letter of credits for uh, uh, import of the machineries or plant or other fixed assets if it is not disclosed separately in the statement of comprehensive the amount of compensation from third party uh, that were impaired lost or given up in the uh, not relevant to our this question so moving forward this is complete a reconciliation basically the disclosure which i we have designed uh, this is the A reconciliation, complete reconciliation, and the net carrying amount of uh, closing, and this is opening. You can write here. This is opening, and this is your closing net carrying amount. So let's move forward for the second year.
सो नाउ अब हमें तीस जून बारह पर देखना है ओपनिंग क्या है ओपनिंग के लिए यू हैव टू आस्क योर प्रीवियस ईयर्स एंडिंग वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू सी वट वी हैड क्लोजिंग यू कैन राइट इट ओवर हेयर कैन पुट दिस फाइव हंड्रेड फ्राम हेयर टू हेयर बट आई डोंट हैव टू यू कैन राइट इट फ्राम हेयर टू हेयर this closing will become the opening of next year but what if the question is only of 30th june 2012 agar sirf question 30 june 2012 ka hoga to fir aapko kaise karna hai ye to nahi maujood hoga this column will not be available with you you have to work out from here to iske liye dobara se aap sochenge question se madad lenge ke aapke question mein pichle saal ke end par क्या एसेट रीवैल्यू हुआ हुआ था पिछले साल के एंड की डेट 30 जून 11 आपने देखा क्वेश्चन यू रीच एट थर्टी जून 11 पिछले साल आई यूज टू से कि किसी भी डेट पर एसेट अपनी आई कैन आई विल राइट हेयर इन उर्दू एंड आल्सो इन इंग्लिश किसी भी डेट पर एसेट या तो अपनी कॉस्ट पर होता है या रिवैल्यूड अमाउंट पर दिस इज उर्दू एंड दिस इज आई हैव डिस्कस्ड इन इंग्लिश Ask yourself whether the asset is on cost or on revalued amount. So, on 30th June 11, whether the asset is revalued or uh, on cost. So, ask this from question. Uh, from for the gross carrying amount, uh, your question will help you a lot. With respect to gross carrying amount. अगर आपको ग्रॉस कैरिंग अमाउंट बनानी है तो इसमें आपका क्वेश्चन आपकी बहुत मदद करता है आस्ट योर क्वेश्चन तीस जून 11 ऑन थर्टी जून 11 व्हाट इज द सिचुएशन वेदर द एसेट इज रीवैल्यूड और ऑन कॉस्ट आस्क योर डेट इज हेयर फर्स्ट जुलाई 11 जस्ट बिफोर थर्टी जुलाई थर्टी जून 10 थर्टी जून 11 सो दैट इज ऑन 500. So opening is 500. Ask the question whether there is addition. No, there is no addition. Another transfer from accumulated depreciation. You have to write uh, now. Your working will help you. On 30th of June 11. What is accumulated depreciation? Pick your accumulated depreciation. on year end this date to cost from the cost till this date see the depreciation only one depreciation is here so pick this depreciation as opening 50 this is your opening accumulated depreciation now what happened on 1st july 11 The asset is revalued. So, what is our first entry? हमारी पहली entry जो कि हमें इस working में नज़र नहीं आती वो इसीलिए मैं इसको हवाई entry कहता हूँ कि हमने अपनी accumulated depreciation को transfer करना होता है अपने asset account में Transfer of accumulated depreciation to asset account. This is the narration. Transfer of accumulated depreciation to asset account. On एट द टाइम ऑफ रिवेल्यूशन रिवेल्यूशन के वक्त पर हमें आ, अपनी जो एक्यूमलेट डेप्रीसिएशन है उसको ट्रांसफर करना है एसेट अकाउंट में सो वी हैव एक्यूमलेट डेप्रीसिएशन ऑन फर्स्ट जुलाई इलेवन इज फिफ्टी सो ट्रांसफर दिस फिफ्टी दिस फिफ्टी एक्यूमलेटेड 
अप्रिसिएशन ओपनिंग क्योंकि इसी वक्त ही स्टार्ट के वक्त ही ये आपका एसेट रिवैल्यू हो गया था सो ट्रांसफर दिस लेस फ्रॉम हेयर आल्सो लेस फ्रॉम हेयर रीजन दिस हैज डेबिट नेचर एंड दिस हैज क्रेडिट नेचर एसेट अकाउंट हैज डेबिट नेचर एंड एक्यूमुलेटेड डेप्रीसिएशन अकाउंट हैज क्रेडिट नेचर सो एक्यूमुलेटेड डेप्रीसिएशन डेबिट सो वी विल लेस फ्रॉम हियर एंड एसेट क्रेडिट एसेट क्रेडिट सो लेस फ्रॉम हियर टू नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू डू दिस जनरल एंट्री एसेट डेबिट एंड रिवल्यूशन सरप्लस क्रेडिट वन थिंग यू शुड रिमेंबर एज फार एज दिस नोट इज कंसर्न अगर हमें क्वेश्चन सिर्फ नोट का आए तो हमें ये वर्किंग तो सारी बनानी पड़ेगी लेकिन आपका रेलिवेंट कॉलम सिर्फ और सिर्फ एसेट का होगा योर रेलिवेंट कॉलम विल ओनली बी दिस वन एसेट सो एसेट इज डेबिटेड विद वन ट्वेंटी फाइव एडेड विद वन ट्वेंटी फाइव Which is our revaluation surplus one twenty five. There is no disposal. What happened? Now this gross carrying amount reaches at the revalued amount, which is five seventy five, which is written over here. Revalued amount five seventy five. Now, what is the depreciation charged this year? What depreciation is charged this year? Depreciation is charged. Sixty three point eight nine. So depreciation charge is sixty three point eight nine. There is no disposal. So total accumulated depreciation becomes at sixty three point eight nine. No need to mo do more working. Your working is five seventy five minus sixty three point eight nine. That is written over here five double one point double one. Five double one point double one, which is WDV. This is basically the WDV. Now, at the previous year, just you can see right here and put it here. आप लिख सकते हैं. If you are in hurry, just write this over here. Four fifty. If not, five hundred minus fifty is equal to four fifty. Last year. Opening, take both openings. Five hundred minus fifty is equal to four fifty. So uh, now, here is the some difference on measurement basis. Now I discuss the measurement basis. Measurement basis is basically one thing: whether the asset is on cost or on revalued amount. Whether the asset is on cost or on revalued amount. आपका एसेट कॉस्ट पर चल रहा है या रिवेल्यूड अमाउंट पर चल रहा है किस डेट पर ईयर एंड की डेट पर 30 जून पर सो ऑन थर्टी जून 11 इट वाज ऑन कॉस्ट ये कॉस्ट पर था ऑन थर्टी जून 12 इट वाज ऑन रिवेल्यूएड अमाउंट Or evaluation only. So, what is the depreciation method? Depreciation method is straight line in both years. What is the rate in this question? The life is given, which is ten years. In this question. Life 
is given which is 10 years this we can easily write 10 years method our is straight line as a stand for straight line and the revaluation revaluation so in all year this is very easy to write on next once again we don't know old workings that is of 30th june 12 and 30th june 11 we don't know so if we do not know and if we know only 30 june 13 we have to do only 30 june 2013 note what to do ask yourself dobara se apne aap se puchein ke asset apni ya to cost par hota hai ya revalued amount par hota hai ab 30 june 13 ka note banane ke liye opening ki date kaun si pichle saal ki closing 30 june 12 previous years closing ask yourself for the opening ask yourself 30th june 12 what is the status of the asset assets value what was the assets value now you are on here 30th june 12 just over here just if i take a bigger look for the question you are just over here on 30th june 12 ask yourself at what amount asset stands this value per asset stand kar hai, which is fair value revalued amount 575 so this is your opening and for accumulated depreciation, you will see the working. So, 575 is your relevant opening. which is also clear from here it is also clear from here but who knows what type of the question you find 575 opening is there any addition during the year no only one thing happened which is once again devaluation but before going that we have to ask ourselves what is accumulated depreciation balance is me aapko kya karna hai you need to take depreciation between two revaluation dates or between revaluation and year end previous revaluation your previous revaluation you are standing here 30th june 12th opening for opening you are standing here 30th june 12th ask yourself when the asset was revalued earlier here asset was revalued here revaluation previous revaluation date till year end 30th june 12 previous year end how much depreciation is being charged this is 63.89 so pick this 63.89 as opening aapne dekhna kya hai ki aapka year end pichle saal ka closing 30 june 12 hai आपने देखना ये इससे पिछली रिवॉल्यूशन कब हुई थी 
इससे पिछली रिवेलेशन कब हुई थी ये एक साथ ग्यारह को ही थी जी ठीक है इस तारीख से लेकर तीस जून बारह तक कितनी रेपिशन चार्ज हो चुकी है वो एक ही चार्ज हुई है सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट एट नाइन इट कुड बी दैट रिवेलेशन इज आफ्टर थ्री ईयर्स आफ्टर एवरी थ्री ईयर्स देन देन वाट रूल इज सेम फ्रॉम प्रीवियस रिवेलुएशन टिल लास्ट ईयर ओपनिंग के लिए रूल है डेट ऑफ लास्ट रिवेलुएशन डेट ऑफ लास्ट रिवेलुएशन आई राइट इट एज डेट ऑफ लास्ट रिवेलुएशन इट बिकम्स डॉलर टिल ईयर एंड लास्ट ईयर लास्ट ईयर एंड टिल लास्ट ईयर एंड यू कैन राइट एज लास्ट ईयर एंड डॉलर टू लास्ट ईयर एंड फॉर द एक्यूमुलेटेड डेप्रीसिएशन दिस इज रूल फॉर एक्यूमुलेटेड डेप्रीसिएशन लिख लें अपने पास सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट एट नाइन देन वट हैपन आस योर सेल्फ इन द क्वेश्चन आर रिवेलेशन डन इट मीन्स एंड द रिवेलेशन ऑन द फर्स्ट डे सो दिस होल सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट एट नाइन शुड बी ट्रांसफर्ड द होल सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट एट नाइन शुड बी ट्रांसफर्ड सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट एट नाइन ट्रांसफर टू एसेट अकाउंट सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट एट नाइन नो आस्क योर सेल्फ वट वर्किंग स्टेट्स नेक्स्ट नाउ द एसेट इज ऑन डब्ल्यू डी फाइव सेवेंटी फाइव माइनस सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट एट नाइन नाउ इट रीच इज एट फाइव डबल वन पॉइंट वन वन Is reduced by 121.11. So revaluation loss came as 121.11. Once again, no disposal. So closing becomes as 390, which is also the revalued amount at 30th June 13. depreciation charged during this year after 390 is 48.75 write it here 48.75 no disposal so closing is 48.75 net carrying amount is from working 341.25 341 One point two five. You can write once again here five double one point one one, or take difference of five seventy five minus sixty three point eight nine, which is five double one point one one. At year end thirty June thirteen, that's it. Measurement basis is revaluation. Depreciation method still straight line. Depreciation life is ten. Yes. For the note of thirty uh, June two thousand fourteen, once again, ask yourself. Again, अपने आप से पूछें कि पिछले साल तीस जून तेरा पर एसेट की वैल्यू या एसेट रिवेल्यूड था जी रिवेल्यूड था आंसर आया फिर एसेट तीस जून तेरा पर कितने पे था क्वेश्चन से पूछें तीस जून तेरह पर कितने पे था तीस जून तेरह फिर इज द थर्टी जून थर्टीन सॉरी थर्टी जून थर्टीन थर्टी जून थर्टीन is here what is previous revaluation amount 
पिछली रिवेल्यूशन अमाउंट क्या है तीन सौ नब्बे सो योर एसेट्स ऑन थर्टियथ जून थर्टीन इज ऑन थ्री नाइन्टी आपका एसेट रिवेल्यूड अमाउंट पर है और वो है तीन सौ नब्बे योर एसेट इज ऑन रिवेल्यूड अमाउंट विच इज थ्री नाइन्टी विच इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन so your opening is 390 which also confirms from here but just for uh, if students gets only note for 30 june 14 what should they take as a opening they should take 390 how through this way 390 addition no addition transfer yes Once again, revaluation. So go first with accumulated depreciation. Once again, rule is date of last revaluation till last year. What is last year now? Thirtieth June thirteen. For now, thirtieth June thirteen. What is Last revaluation on thirtieth June thirteen. Here is thirtieth June thirteen. What is last revaluation? Here is last revaluation. Date of last revaluation. What is the date? Date of last year. Last year end. So. Last year end between this opening uh, depreciation is only forty eight point seven five. Take this opening forty eight point seven five. So transfer on the first day as forty eight point seven five. This entry not being shown. Forty eight point seven five in the working. This entry is not showing in the working. What's next? From thirtieth June thirteen to thirtieth June fourteen. This is our year revaluation. Re Once again, revaluation comes. We have made the first entry forty eight point seven five transfer of accumulated depreciation to asset account. Next, revaluation surplus came thirty-eight point seven five. Thirty-eight point seven five should be added. Thirty-eight point seven five to the gross carrying amount. No addition. What is the value? Reaches asset becomes at three eighty. रिवेल्यूड अमाउंट एसेट्स रिवेल्यूड अमाउंट पर चला गया तीन सौ अस्सी पर दिस ईयर वी चार्ज एप्रीसिएशन फिफ्टी फोर पॉइंट टू नाइन फिफ्टी फोर पॉइंट टू नाइन नो डिस्पोजल सो फिफ्टी फोर पॉइंट टू नाइन इज योर क्लोजिंग ऑफ एक्यूमुलेट डेप्रीसिएशन एंड योर डब्ल्यू डी वी बिकम्स थ्री ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट सेवन फाइव थ्री ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट सेवन वन इज This is WDV. Previous years, last years, WDV could be taken from the working three forty one point two five, or from here three forty one point two five. So this was the uh, notes through the financial statement disclosure. Uh, in next video, we will do disposal. how we can easily do the disposals working of revalued asset and how will we can take that in the notes to the financial statements thank you very much best of luck don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get more videos related to accounting knowledge or relevant ca knowledge सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलिएगा और बेल आइकन प्रेस करना ना भूलिएगा ताकि आप मेरी वीडियोस फ्यूचर में जो हों वो 
آپ تک بآسانی پہنچ سکے